Um, they left Illinois yesterday, from Missouri, uh, over the Missouri Teal season. My dad got home for this morning and uh, pointed the far west and uh, heading out for a week of elk hunting, which is going to be something. First morning out here, September 11th. Uh, I left the truck at like 4.15 this morning. Uh, I got to the glassing point at 6.30. Heard two bugles. Uh, wasn't really a good vantage point, but um, it's really hard to tell what is open and what's not based on Google. Um, so I'm just gonna work this drainage out pretty hard this afternoon. Elk are being pretty oaky in that they didn't just pop out, but I was glassing well enough and it was my own fault. But coming out, driving out solo was really a challenge, more than I thought. Pretty much a waste a day of usable hunting just because of how worn out you are. So it's the third day of the hunt. It's Tuesday, September 13th. Yesterday was entirely a move camp day. Moved trailheads, drove up a Jeep road in my Subaru, and then hiked. Uh, what, what by trail was about seven to eight miles, and I'm now five plus miles from the car as the crow flies. And uh, at 11,200 feet, so 3,000 feet up and seven, eight miles in, I knew, I knew going in that the challenge of this trip would be sustaining effort for a week. Um, I really underestimated how much harder it is to be solo versus having a partner. So this is camp. There's my tent set up. There's where we're cooking. And this is the panorama of where I'm staying right now. Lots of feed in here. Otherwise though, it looks like sheep country. Saw my first uh, blue grouse, scared the crap out of me, but pretty much looked exactly like a sage grouse. Really clumsy bird, clumsier than a turkey or a pheasant, which is saying something. This hunt is just, God, it just seems to go high and low so fast. And being up at this high altitude, um, it just gets cold and warm and then cold and warm so quickly. So it's just constantly layer on, layer off, layer on, layer off. I found sign, elk sign. There's definitely elk sign going up. Uh, there's like a seep of a creek that's down by me and I followed it up about 500 yards and they're definitely in the like willow brush type stuff. There's some decently fresh sign um, up there. But now I'm gonna go further up the drainage and uh, just sort of keep trying to look for a fresh sign and stalking through the timber. I'm constantly playing this game of how long am I gonna stay in this drainage? Like how much ground to cover? Like am I better off just like really focusing in on a couple square miles or should I just like bomb in, listen, look for elk sign and just, you know, say, no, I didn't see anything, move on out. So it's uh, 4 o'clock on Tuesday, and it's uh, raining slash sleeting like little BBs. Hopefully it's just a little mountain shower. we are pretty clear for the rest of the week as far as precip goes. It's already kind of tapering off. There's this weird battle on the mountain that you can really tell when you're up here. And sometimes you 
wonder if you should just come down off the mountain. If you pick that base camp up and go back further to the car or hotel or whatever, you're out of it, but if you're too far away to do anything that long. Everything is telling me is that the elk were definitely here recently, a bit like 11 to 11 4, 11 5, they still may be. So, uh, I just had a, a herd of cows at like 143 yards. So they were right along this rock right here. That was down right in those cedars or pine trees that just come up that basin. And uh, I just like come off the top and uh, wasn't really paying attention, but it was just like I got any good elk sign. Fresh tracks. And they had this little seed that was coming up the hill. And uh, I was just like, yeah, that could really like be it, you know. That could be in where they're at. So I just followed it up and I don't know, it was a long shot. It's a long way back in here too. Oh my god. Would have been a long back out, but it is Tuesday, so, and it's cool up here, so I would have time, but God. Oh well, it was awesome. Basically single-handedly like justifies my trip. So, quick video diary as it fades, uh, the light. Uh, today was cool. Today was what I would hope happened. Um, I came in and I dropped my stuff, got up high, and just sort of pared down. And you can see all the way over there, like way up through there, or actually closer to over here. Above tree line on those peaks up the valley, a mile and a half. Uh, I got into elk at like five o'clock at 143 yards. Um, so just out of range, you know, maybe one of those shots you could have taken if you'd had time to set up, but uh, I'm glad I didn't take it because it would have taken three or four days to get out of there. Um, well, I mean, I would have had to call a packer in all likelihood, but yeah, it's a chore. Um, but I found out today. Um, I think I'm going to bug out of this basin after the morning. Uh, I don't know. It's just a feeling that either I should go to Cottonwood or go somewhere else. Just keep moving. I certainly worked it here. Um, the elk are really quiet, but I now, I know, now I know what I'm looking for. So I can sort of attack accordingly now. So anyway. Um, the one thing I did do was I, after I saw those elk, I knocked the absolute shit out of, you can see, out of my rifle sight. So I got a re-zero in the morning, which is awesome. So, anyway. So, uh, this is... I woke up to this morning. It's been uh, raining pretty hard since about 3 o'clock this morning. And the clouds are just socking in the valley right now. It's like a sheep hunt. So I'm going to head on out. I don't have a good weather forecast. Um, I'm just not happy with where this, this drainage is leading me. Um, I do think I had some elk in here around midnight last night, I think, but like, they've been being really quiet and there was some chirping and whatnot and oh, I'm going to go take my mid, my mid hunt break because I'll go find something, go find a hotel tonight and just chill out and get some real food and uh, come back at it hard for two or three days. I already accomplished like the most curt thing possible. I found my first elk, like 200 yards shy of the continental divide and unit, you know, <laughs> unit boundary, seven miles up in the drainage. So it's uh, Thursday, September 15th. I uh, just moved to my third different spike camp, different drainage. Um, found one that was relatively short, steep hike from the car. 
Um, it's only two and a quarter miles up here, but it's over 2,000 feet in that amount of time, so pretty much all the way up steep, steep, steep. Um, found a nice alpine meadow up here. Um, pretty quintessential Colorado up here at uh, 10,700 feet up in the Aspens. Last night I just had hit the wall. Um, I ran back down the mountain from here where I was starting to try to get into scout because a thunderstorm was rolling through the valley and it got really, really electric really quick. Um, and it poured and I had my camp set up at the trailhead and I just had had it. It was like the third day in a row that I had gotten poured on while sleeping in a tent. And uh, it had been like six days since I would showered. So uh, I broke down and drove into town and got a hotel last night and warm meal and feel a lot better. Um, you know, a lot happier about where I'm at right now hunting wise. I feel like I can get an elk out of here. I think there's a decent chance to run into elk here. It's sort of a compromise spot. I think there are better spots explicitly, but for this point in the hunt, um, it's a good option. Well, the elk won. I think it's me at Colorado. I didn't really expect to punch this tag, but we got really close on Tuesday, 143 yards on a herd. Um, I'm just beat though. I've really never hunted five days straight, let alone at a time, let alone like hard, camping, solo. Go back a day early, take it easy on the way home because I just I mean, I quite literally like drove through the night after work to Missouri, teal hunted, left straight from teal hunting to drive 14 hours out here, um, hit the trailhead, or got to the trailhead, slept three hours in the car, and like started hunting. And that was five days ago, and I'm pretty worn out. And yeah, I've, in that five day period, I like, Today, I've been on nine and a half miles since lunch. Um, an easy like 50 plus miles in that time period. It's been an experience. Um, I have a lot more idea what to look for in elk units moving forward. But this is it for a solo elk hunting trip, so unless I'm like in a super cushy unit. But I just, yeah. It is what it is. I'm gonna go shoot some teal in Missouri. <laughs> Make myself feel better. Barbecue some meat. <laughs>